2011 Chevy Malibu. Stiff steering. No electric power assist. So I'm gonna replace the motor. It's underneath the dash. Bolts up to the side of the steering column like this. And it has two eights. Torxes, inverted torxes. And pick them bolts out. But you want to undo your connectors first. There's three of them. And on one of the connectors, they go to the column. It has a little fastener that goes into the side of the motor. So you need to unplug that. And it goes into one of these right here, like that hole. So you need to undo that and get the three connectors off. And then you can remove the two bolts from the side of it. And you might want to note, do not turn this when you pull it out because you want to take a note on where it's actually at when you pull this one off the car, the one that's in the car right now. Because it has a dead spline. A dead spline means it's a bigger spline hole, okay? So you want to mark it and you want to take the one that's from the car, set it down and you want to look at it and compare the notches and you want to set the one you're putting in there to where the one is you took out. Hopefully you understand that. All right, you have an under dash panel, which is right here. There's two seven millimeter screws that hold it up and two clips. And it has a wire harness going through right here so you need a pair of pliers or needle nose to twist that off and you get that out of there and then you need to go get real versatile and you need to go underneath the dash and see where that motor is at okay it's right there so you need to undo your electrical connectors first and then you can take out your two uh, bolts, okay? Because there's one right here in the middle, and the other one is right up there, right there. Take those two out and slide the motor this way towards the side, and then you'll have it in your hand, okay? All right, so you need to do that. This is the old one, which is the one that just took out of the car. What you want to do is you want to hold on to the shaft, wipe it off so you can see where the dead spline is. You want to kind of like mark it. So it's kind of like going over to here. And you want to go to the one you're putting in the car and line it up in the same fashion. Okay? When you're uh, removing these connectors, I had to take the blue completely out because I couldn't unplug it inside the car. It's impossible to get my hand up in there. So, but anyway, now I'm gonna put this one in. Hopefully I'll get it in there. <clears throat> I pushed it in when I was in the car. It went right in. And I had my bolt laying on the floors, and then I closed up the gap best I could, and I reached it from my other hand inside there and grabbed the bolt off the floor, and I gave it to this hand and the finger, and I stuck it in there. And what I did was I went like this, with it like that, and I held it together, together, with just these fingers. Okay, so then it stayed in there. I got it ran in there tight and I got it snugged up with my fingers. And then I got up over in here and I got that one in there and snugged it up also, keeping it tight. Because once you stick it up in there and, and it goes in, just move it around a little bit like this. Boom, go in right in. Wasn't that bad. So, I said I got them started, snugged them up and tightened them up. And then I uh, plugged my connectors back in underneath the dash. And make sure that that one connector, this one here, doesn't get stuck in between here. So make sure that was out of the way for you. So then plug your connectors in. Put your under dash panel back up. 
Go on your scanner, clear the codes for your steering. Make sure your battery is charged up. And voila, and mine works now. So I had a bad motor. I might also have a bad sensor, a steering torque sensor, but those are a little bit harder to do. I'll show you where it's at. It's behind this plate. Here's the wire for it. It means you gotta hold, take the whole steering column apart and pull it, un unbolt it from underneath the dash. You need to take this whole piece out. The only thing you're gonna have sit down in here is the, the shaft. Okay? There's a big ass uh, snap ring right there. You need some big snap ring pliers. Otherwise, don't do it without them. So, best off buying yourself a big set of snap ring pliers before you start the, start the job, if you're gonna do it. Okay, so that's how you do the motor. Good luck. Um, I helped you with the motor and maybe you can subscribe to me if you already did. I appreciate it.